Bruce Willis, the star of the Die Hard franchise and dozens of other action movies, is retiring from acting after a shock diagnosis. 67-year-old Willis rose to fame in the 1980s TV series Moonlighting and has appeared in about 100 films across his four-decade career. His family says the star is retiring after being diagnosed with aphasia, a disease that causes problems with language, listening and writing ability. Willis appeared in eight movies last year alone, but is best known for playing the Tuffus Nails New York cop in Die Hard. Well, here to tell us more about aphasia is Meritus Professor and Speech Pathologist Linda Worrell from the University of Queensland. Welcome Linda, thanks for your time. So what exactly is aphasia? Aphasia is a language impairment that is caused by damage to the language pathways in the brain. So people with aphasia will have difficulty with sometimes understanding what is said to them. Uh, they have trouble reading. They have trouble uh, communicating their needs. And also they have trouble with writing. So uh, it affects many sort of spheres of the language domains. And how do those pathways in the brain become damaged? Well, the primary reason is stroke. And so uh, about a third of people with a stroke will have aphasia, um, but it can also be caused by a brain injury and or head injury a brain tumour and occasionally there is a degenerative condition called primary progressive aphasia that uh, gradually affects the language and for some people that then uh, escalates into other parts of the brain and it develops into a full-blown dementia mm. but in most cases of aphasia intellect is not affected, it is the language pathway that is affected. And Linda, what were your thoughts when you heard that Bruce Willis was retiring from his movie career because of this condition? Well, first of all, I thought, well, you know, if you're an actor, uh, communication is your tool, is the way that you uh, uh, do your job. So to have a, uh, a problem with communication is a cruel blow to someone who had such a stellar career in acting. Mm. But I also know that um, it's going to have ramifications for his family as well. Um, so communicating with your loved ones um, is going to be an important thing uh, for him in the future. So they're going to need to adapt to these changed, uh, his changed ways of communicating. And I do hope that um, they are reaching out to speech pathologists and to the support organisations uh, a, a, about aphasia in the US um, because there is a lot of support uh, for people with aphasia. It sounds like they are too. Mm. Um, so he, he made eight movies last year. So is this a condition that comes on pretty quickly? Well, usually, yes. So they have, the family have not said what has caused the aphasia, whether it's a stroke or whether he's had um, some sort of um, uh, traumatic brain injury uh, or whether it's been a sort of a gradual thing, but it sounds like it's sort of more of a, a, a perhaps a, a sudden onset, uh, which would, you know, you'd think maybe could be a stroke, but who knows? There's mm. there's no way of, of sort of um, knowing without uh, the family saying what has caused the aphasia. So, um, yeah, it sounds like, you know, he's been doing movies and up, and up until recently, so who knows? Sad news, isn't it? Uh, Professor Linda yes, Wall, thank you. Yeah. yeah.